Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I am your Viprajesh again from SRT Tata Coimbatore showroom today, and I am here with the Tata Altros XM variant. As you can see, this is the petrol XM variant in its Daytona grey color, and it looks seriously very fantastic. One point you need to note is that this car is fitted with aftermarket 14-inch alloy wheels. The XM variant of the Tata Altros comes as standard with 14-inch steel wheels and this dealership have managed to fit aftermarket 14-inch alloy wheels for this car which look really good and matches the overall color theme of the Daytona Grey XM variant of the Tata Altros. Talking about the standard external details, you can see that the overall design looks exactly the same as the top spec variant except for the lack of a front fog lamp. The headlamps are non-projector halogen units but still they look really sleek and work very well. You get the same glossy black finish front grille along with the chrome detailing on this XM variant also which is really good however you miss out on the front fog lamp and the led drls which were present on the xt variant and that area is covered by a black finish design element sort of panel however you can see that the lower part of the bumper remains exactly the same as the top spec variants which is really good moving on over to the sides you can notice that the alloy wheels are really nice once again however the top spec variants of the tata altros get 16 inch wheels the XM and the XE entry level variants get 14 inch wheels. The indicators are on the fender whereas the ORVM design looks exactly the same except for the lack of the chrome detailing which was present on the XZ variant. So this is a really good thing that from the top spec variant itself there is no sort of cost cutting in terms of at least the external details. You can also see that the glossy black finish around the window line is also the very same it's carried over from the entry level variant itself another good thing is that even on this xm variant you get full body color door handles with glossy black finished orvms which was not present on the xm variant of the tata nexon just like on any other tata altros the rear doors can be opened only by the handle which is located inside the door just beside the c pillar However, moving on over towards the rear, you can see that there is not much of a difference when you compare with the XT variant except for the lack of a reverse parking camera. You get the very same split tail lamps with indicators and reverse lights in integrated into them. You can also see that the Altros badging remains standard from the entry level variant itself. However, you do not get rear wash, wipe or even defoggers which is totally fine which was not even present on the XT variant. You can see that only a couple of reverse sensors are provided along with reflectors in the lower part of the bumper. You do not get rear fog lamp which was present on the XZ variant of the Tata Altros. So overall that was all about the exteriors and features of the Tata Altros XM variant. Let's get inside the car to check out what are the differences in terms of features and overall comfort.
Yes, guys, I'm right now inside the new Tata Altros XM variant. And as you can see, this is how the steering wheel looks at the first glance. It does not have any sort of steering mounted audio controls. However, the horn buttons are placed on the further side of the steering boss, which is really convenient to operate. And this steering wheel is also a flat bottom design, just like on the Tiago, Tigor and Nexon. So this is very convenient and very nice. However, the uh, instrument cluster is exactly similar to that of the XT variant which I reviewed recently. Uh, that means that uh, you do not get a full digital tachometer. Instead, you get an analog tachometer. However, you get the MID which is kind of reminiscent of the Tata Harrier. It provides all the details you will ever want such as distance to empty, instantaneous fuel efficiency, average uh, efficiency for trip meter A, trip meter B and uh, even engine temperature gauge. So everything is here. Uh, except for the fact that it's not uh, it's not a wholly sophisticated unit but still it works totally fine you get the standard headlamp stocks however you do not get fog lamps so uh, you no longer get any sort of fog lamp button on the right side well basically there is no button on the right side of the driver on the higher variant you may have noticed there is a separate uh, button console panel for functions such as uh, auto engine start stop and uh, fog lamps and so on but on this variant since those features are absent it is entirely a blank panel so that's all about the instrument cluster uh, everything else remains exactly the same uh, as on the xt variant say for the center console which does not have any sort of armrest for the front passengers however you get a couple cup holders and uh, small cubby holes you also get this round socket i don't know what's that for probably you can fit an accessory 12 volt charging socket over there you get the manual handbrake and basically that's it the transmission lever is also the very same it's the same five speed manual transmission unit in rubber it's not leather only the top spec xz variant uh, gets the leather finish on the steering wheel and the gear knob but still it's a very nice neat and uh, uh, nippy looking unit you also get the very familiar economy uh, mode button for the engine uh, this multiple drive mode button is standard across all variants of the tata ultra so that is a really very good thing uh, you also get the very same uh, manual air conditioning uh, console unit, the, the controls over here. As on the XT variant, it's not an automatic climate control. Automatic climate control is available only on the XZ variant. So this is a manual one and it works totally very fine. Uh, you can see that you get a 12 volt charging socket underneath along with a USB and AUX port, uh, which is standard uh, on the variants which have an audio system. So that is good. Apart from that, you also get this very same cubby hole space, which is quite large and you can store a whole lot of items in there. And you also get this uh, hook on the passenger side footwell so that you can hang your small bags or stuff, which is really neat and uh, nifty. Uh, the biggest difference is that you no longer get a touchscreen system on this XM variant as you can see this is a very small 3.5 inch uh, monochrome display for the infotainment system. This system is a uh, modification of the Tata Nexon's XM uh, variant system because this is exactly the same user interface it's kind of easy to use if you are uh, uh, used to the Nexon's unit it's really handy I mean you get all the functions you get USB aux Bluetooth and uh, everything uh, however it's just that it's not a color unit it's a very small unit but still this variant gets four speakers from uh, Harman this system itself is from Harman and the audio quality is really very good even for this uh, low spec variant so that is a really commendable point uh, the volume control is on the left whereas the controls for navigating through the menu is on the right side all the buttons are carried over from the Nexon's XM and even the top spec variant so the quality is decent however it could have been a little bit better but it's totally fine so that's all about the uh, infotainment system you can see that the ac vents also remain the very same as on the top spec variants except for the lack of any sort of chrome uh, detailing or anything it's just a plain um, a four metal finish uh, around the ac vents so it's okay it doesn't look bad you also get this uh, four metal finish on the dashboard which i thought that this xm variant will not get uh, but still it is present over here which is in contrast with this island uh, sort of black color island uh, design so that is kind of lifting the ambience of this cabin it is not as entry level not as basic as i expected so that's a really good thing however what's really basic is this irvm as you can see there is no sort of uh, day night switch for the irvm 
uh, which is just a simply a basic IR BMW, which uh, which basically any entry level car will be available with. So that is one point of cost cutting. Another point, as you may have already seen on the XT variant, you do not get the LED light which even the Tiago gets on the entry level variant, the white light. Instead, you get this cheap, very ugly looking yellow light that is really cheap cost cutting by Tata, but at least they have provided a light. Uh, but still, they have forgotten to provide any sort of uh, light for the rear part of the cabin, even on the top spec variant. So that is really very uh, sort of a silly mistake from Tata's side, but it's it's a point you need to note before you buy a Tata Altros entry level variant. However, you had aftermarket options though. So talking about the storage spaces, you can see that the glove box is very large. However, on this variant, you do not get this additional uh, tray uh, section where you can play, place your laptops or mobile phones. Instead, it's just a whole uh, unit of glove box. It's very large, very capacious and uh, very usable. All these cubby holes are still provided on this variant. So that's a really good thing. You get a cup, a pen holder, a uh, couple of cup holders, small uh, place to hold your cards or books or anything. So that's present as standard. What's also standard is the umbrella holder on the front doors. As you can see, you can slot in your umbrellas over here. Even if they are wet, they have special drain channels so that uh, the water drains out automatically. You get nice one liter bottle holders on each door so that is also a very good plus point and you also get this additional small cubby hole on the right side of the driver which is handy for your toll tickets or something so that's really good thing talking about this car's uh, ignition and key this here is the key for the Tata Altros yes that's right guys this is the XM variant it gets power windows power mirror controls it gets even an audio system but still it does not get a remote uh, locking so that is kind of very awkward planning by Tata Motors uh, given the fact that the Nexon's XM variant gets a proper remote key uh, with follow me function and electric boot release so this is very very ugly looking key from the Indica era so I don't know why did they do that but still they have done that so I guess people have to go for aftermarket options if they want to have a keyless remote locking so enough about that talking about the features such as power mirrors and controls the driver door looks exactly the same as the xt variant without any sort of fabric padding or anything on the armrest but still the overall quality is great every material you feel is really well built uh, every panel in this interior is very very well built the overall quality the overall solidity and even the fit and finish of this cabin is exceptionally fantastic for a tata car and it's up there uh, with certain European cars as well. So that's really good. You get the piano black door handles. There is no metal on this. Only the XZ top spec variant gets metal door handles. So that is one point to note. The other point is that you get the very same power window buttons. All four windows are power windows on this variant, which is a really very good thing. Along with that, you also get electric mirror adjustment. Uh, and also you get electronic folding, I suppose. So let me just try that as you can see yeah that's right you get auto folding mirrors on this xm variant as well so that is a very good thing which kind of uh, neutralizes the negatives on this car such as the lack of a remote uh, locking and uh, this ugly looking interior cabin light so talking about the roof again we have got the ticket holder on the driver's side sun visor whereas the passenger uh, sun visor does not get any sort of vanity mirror this is also another point of cost cutting but still uh, i'm not sure how many people use those vanity mirrors it's okay for an entry level variant though uh, so that's all about the front part of the uh, tata altros xm variants cabin the seats themselves are also the very same as on the XT variant. The fabric quality is totally different when you compare with the top spec XZ variant. But still these are very comfortable for the front seat at, seats at least. And you get adjustable front uh, height, uh, sorry, the headrests which is a really good thing. Um, so yeah, that's all about the front. Let's get into the back and uh, check out what are the differences and how does the cabin look like from the back seat. So yes guys, I'm right now in the back seat of the new Tata Altros XM variant and as you can see, this is how the XM variant's dashboard looks like from the back seat. 
The screen may not be uh, may not be that large, it may not be that colorful, but still it's functional, it works, and you get almost all the features uh, you will need on uh, say a budget kind of hatchback. So that's really good. So talking about the rear seats themselves, you can see that the space remains exactly the same. The thigh support uh, remains exactly the same, which was not that great to begin with. Uh, that still is the very same. You also do not get any sort of height adjustable headrests for the rear seat. Neither you get a center armrest. So this basically, uh, this back seat is basically from the XT variant. Uh, it is the very same thing on the XT variant you may have seen the exact same uh, seat design pattern along with the lack of uh, headrest or an armrest so there is no change at all it is still a comfortable a nice wide back seat you can seat three people easily over here when you compare with any other premium hatchback so that is a really good point uh, so yeah that's all about the rear seat apart from that in terms of overall storage you can see the uh, nice one liter bottle holders on even the back doors you get power window buttons on every door which is fantastic and all doors open in a full 90 degree so that uh, the ingress and the egress of even the elder people will be very easy so that's all about the rear seat of the xm variant of the tata altros let me just get to the boot and later under the bonnet of the XM Revotron Tata Altros. So yes, I am right now behind the XM variant of the Tata Altros and as you can see the boot space remains exactly the same as uh, even the top spec variant. Uh, the boot space is around 340 liters in capacity which is really good and the best in class for any premium hatchback in India it's a nice square loading bay uh, and it's very easy to use uh, however even on the top spec variants the Tata Altros does not get flat uh, sorry the 60-40 split folding rear seats which is a very similar case on even this XM variant you can fold them flat but still uh, there is a sort of a large step which you kind of have to adjust your luggage through but still it's totally fine you get isofix child seat mounts as standard as you can see you get this uh, warning label for top uh, tether for your child seats which is really good uh, talking about other safety features the tata altros comes standard with dual airbags abs ebd corner stability control along with isofix child seat mounts for the rear seat so that's a really good thing and along with that the tata altros is the only premium hatchback in india to score a full five stars in global and cap crash tests so that is uh, that makes the tata altros one among the most safest india made cars so that is really commendable and the spare wheel talking about the spare wheel you may have noticed that the xm variant receives 14 inch wheels uh, as standard 14 inch steel wheels to be precise and the spare wheel is actually a 13 inch so let me just show you the size again oh sorry this is also 14 inch which is a really good thing i thought that like the tiago they would have provided 13 inch wheels for a 14 inch uh, wheel equipped car but that is not the case clearly as you can see this is a really good job by tata motors at least uh, so the spare wheels jack and all the toolkit is provided right over here so that is also good so basically that's all about the boot so let me just get under the bonnet of the xm tata altros petrol to open the bonnet of the xm tata altros this is a very familiar procedure you have to pull the lever in the driver footwell and uh, you basically have to pop open the bonnet so this grey colour actually looks really fantastic on the Tata Altros and this here is the very same 1.2 litre non turbocharged Revotron BS6 uh, petrol engine it's a 3 cylinder unit it's a 1200 cc engine so it produces around 86 PS of power and a torque figure of 130 Newton meters through a 5 speed manual transmission only the specialty of this engine is that it provides variable valve timing uh, which was not present on uh, any cars using this engine uh, prior to this so that makes this engine a little bit well a way more smoother engine than the Tiago, Tigor and even the Nexons unit so that is really commendable you can see the ABS unit over here it also provides electronic uh, brake distribution and corner stability control as standard so that is also a very good thing the padding on uh, the under portion of the bonnet is also standard across all variants so that is also a very good thing in terms of refinement so 
that was all about the XM variant of the Tata Altros. Do let me know what do you think about the Tata Altros XM. The pricing is on the screen for you right now. I think that this variant gets almost all the essentials for a premium hatchback really very right. Uh, except for the remote uh, locking <laughs> which is kind of essential on every car in today's uh, market condition. So do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the XM. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.